Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. Um, I am Jake and tonight I am joined by Ben. Hello. Uh, Seb. Hi. And maybe interjecting every so often is Bragg. Yo! He's over on the lounge. He's only in the room because we're using his phone. Uh, <laughs> um, so how was our week in Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's start with Seb. Uh, good. I've been playing Bird Up recently. You have, um, and there will be a profile coming to the channel soon. Uh, that is recorded. Um, I cannot give any uh, time frame as to when this will be done, as I am currently in charge of editing. <laughs> I, uh, I forgot to record a profile tonight, whoops. <gasps> oh, your channel's going to fail. Why? I'm going to be very dependent on some sleeves I ordered in the mail showing up in time. <laughs> <laughs> Sleeve unboxing. So how have you been finding it um, playing back in Metadex? Yeah, it's been good. Um, I keep going X1, which is alright, I don't mind it. Look, that's like, fine. Like yeah. you're, you're not really expected to blow out every Locals once yeah. you start playing a meta deck, especially one that like people at our Locals have been playing before yeah. anyway. Like People sort of know how to interact with that deck mm. now, so no, X1's very respectable. Yeah. Um, ben, how have you been doing? I have miraculously went 2-2 playing Seal only. Couldn't be happier. <laughs> that's so good. <laughs> no, that's like... So what were your matchups then? Uh, a mirror matchup. <laughs> what? I played a mirror match. Um, this is the, uh, if no one knows the ice dragon. Yeah, I'm playing ice barriers. Ice over, barriers. Which doesn't need to be ice barrier, it means to be paleo frog, but I can't pull a salt frog apparently. Yeah. Yeah, I can't the, pull salt frogs. the packs I've seen you open, you cannot pull a salt yeah. frog to save your life. And the other Four, pl- three dual overload deep. Uh, I still have not seen a Swap Frog. The other player did play Swap Frogs. Yes, they versus. did have the full deck. <laughs> so, in that sense then, who won? Exactly. Um, you that's, won. That's the ah. important thing. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then I lost to Josh, of course. Yep, sacky piece of shit. Then I lost to Sky Striker. I too lost to Sky Striker, but we'll get into that. And then I won against Costar because he bridged super hard. But he's playing August, August which does that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look, without like some extra mechanics in that deck to actually get the bricks out of your hand, that deck is so yeah. rough. He, uh, he opened Brass Bombard Skelly. I trished his Skelly. <laughs> oh. Yeah. That's rough. <laughs> I was like, oh, I, I hit the one card that helps you play. So his, his hand was Red Eyes, Dark Magician, Bombard, Skelly, and then a Cold by the Grave. Red Eyes, Dark Magician. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> God damn! And then to I, draw uh, both of them and not draw at least the red eyes. Yeah, them. yeah. Oh, that's so rough. Um, yeah. So my week, uh, Sunday. What did I do Sunday? Was I playing on Sunday? Yeah, I was. Um, I think I went like X two or something. I don't remember doing remarkably well. Um, tonight I also did X two, but I was playing pure Mech Knights. Um, now that Lachlan's away and I have control of the channel, I'm doing profiles that I like. So, uh, you're going to get a month full of Mech Knights, to be honest. <laughs> That's always on the channel before this. No, 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 no. You should. Well, this and Dynamics. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, that's true. This is specifically Mech Knight month. <laughs> yes. Unfortunately, we aren't in an M month. Yeah, I was going to say. You it would have been nice little... to be Mech Knight May, that's but here we are. Mech Knight April. <laughs> There we go. Avramax April. Oh yeah, true. <laughs> I did I did summon Avramax a fair bit tonight. Um, yeah, this build I don't particularly like. Uh, I need to fix it a little bit. So there will be some tweaks, and then once I'm happy with it, I will post a profile. But yeah, it's kind of it's kind of fun going back to that and not playing Alistair for a little while. Um, <laughs> don't you start with your anti invoker propaganda. It's okay. You're not making Winda. True. Winda is the real problem. And this is the, <laughs> this is the last we'll hear of Winda for the rest of the podcast. So, um, we have had an absolute raft of news from the Dawn of Majesty set. Um, and frankly, discussing all the cards would be A, an hour and a half long, B, quite boring. So, I've rounded off some highlight cards to talk about. Um... The first of which I'm going to discuss is the new Despia archetype, um, which seems to be continuing on from the Fallen of Albaz lore. Yeah. Um, so the main deck monsters are all Dark Fairies, um, and I'll rattle off a few of their effects now. Uh, so the first one is Despian of uh, Comedy. Uh, Despian also is a play on words of Despair and Thespian, um, and I have yet to meet a Thespian that isn't in Despair, so it's, it's quite apt. Um, 
So yeah, level one dark fairy zero attack two k defense. Before we before we do oh, the rest yep. of this, I just want to say that was a really intelligent joke. Yeah, it was very. That good. was I was, was very much appreciate that. That was an intelligent joke. And yes. it was on the fly as well. He made that yeah. up the top of his head. <laughs> no, nope, I definitely thought about it in the car on the way here tonight. <laughs> I think this is something about lesbians, but here we are. Oh boy! <laughs> this is this is a highbrow <laughs> podcast <laughs> with no long witnesses. That's why I said highbrow. <laughs> yeah, I'm big brain. <laughs> I need a monocle. No, wait, I am wearing a monocle. Yes, and it's three a.m. <laughs> it's three a.m. But we're wearing monocles. Um, okay, so continuing on, uh, zero attack, two K defense. Um, you can only use either of these cards effects once per turn. Um, which is the only drawback that I can see for a lot of this archetype is that you can only use one or the other effect. So it's not like a both. super hard once per turn. Yeah, super hard. Super but hard. their but their effects are quite good. Um, so um, this one, when your opponent decl- activates an effect um, that targets a face up Despia card or cards like you control. Uh, discard this card. I went to read it like I was reading it to an opponent who's like trying to understand the card. <laughs> um, you can discard this card and negate that effect. Um, if this card is in your graveyard, quick effect, you contribute a fusion monster, special summon this card. Um, that was kind of underwhelming. Doesn't do a great deal. Well, what, wait, what's the negate again? Is... Uh, so if they target a Despia, oh. discard okay. to negate. Mm. I suppose it turns off Imperm. It turns off Imperm, but also Imperm hasn't really been all that prevalent of late anyway. It's Things also... may change by the time this comes out though, so who knows. Um, next we have Despian of Tragedy, um, also a uh, level 1, 400 attack and defense. Um, same thing, only one effect once per turn. Uh, if this card is sent to the graveyard or banished by a card effect, you can add one Despian monster from your deck to your hand except for itself. Uh, and you can banish this card from your graveyard and target one Stigmata spell or trap in your graveyard, set it to your field. Um, this seems really good for the archetype, just being able to allure it away and then get a search off the back of it. It's pretty hard. Super are good. they all darks, yeah? All darks. Okay. <laughs> yeah, super good. Um, is Albaz dark? Yeah, Dark Dragon. Yeah. That um, trigger off beginning of the end? Yes. Oh. So yeah, you could just make like some <laughs> Orcus, Despian, Stigmata, Clusterfuck. Yeah. Danger. I like, I like the sound of it. Mm, I like it. Um, okay, uh, next we have um, Albert, Jester of Despia. Um, again, one of the effects once per turn. Uh, if this card is normal special summon, add one Stigmata sword, spell or trap from deck to hand. Uh, if a face up fusion or monster, monster or monsters is destroyed by battle or leaves the field by opponent's card effect while this card is in your graveyard, target one effect monster your opponent controls, special summon this card, and if you do, negate that target's effects until the end of this turn. Well, realistically... It seems as though all of the first effects are for your turn. The second effects seem to be opponent's turn stuff. True, but all of the secondary effects seem a little underwhelming. Look, they all say battle, and last time you said that was bad. Look, what yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, and look, like I said, it's underwhelming. This one, <laughs> this next one is the best of the main deck cards, as far as I can see. Uh, and this one is Dragmaturia of D- Despia, uh, level eight, three K attack, fifteen hundred defense. Um, also. Like, you can't see the art, obviously, because it's a podcast. But the artwork is sort of like a dark version of uh, Maximus. Yeah. Um, so, lore-wise, I'm not sure what's going on there, but just an interesting little tidbit. Um, so, if a fusion, synchro, XZ, and or link monster is special summoned, you can target one effect monster on the field, negate its effects until the end of this turn. Um, that's a, I'm assuming it's on the field when it does that. Uh, if this card is used as a material for a fusion monster from the hand or field and sent to the graveyard or banished, special summon it. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, quite good. Um, so, just, yeah, getting a free 3k monster on board that can then also negate something when a monster is summoned. So, wait, so that just summons when you banish one? No. No. So, if it's used as material for a fusion summon, okay. it doesn't matter how it's used, though. So, yeah. it can be banished off, like, an Alistair summon. It can okay. be... Sent to hand or field to grave. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just as long as it's used for a fusion. Um, so that one's really good. And then we get to the two extra deck monsters. So we've got uh, Despian... I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I'm just going to say uh, Kertis. There's a lot of... It's like Q-U-A-E-R-T-I-S. <laughs> yeah, I think you're close like enough. Kertis. Uh, so one Despian monster and one light or dark monster. So fairly generic. 
uh, level 8, 25, 25. Um, use each of these cards' first and second effects once per turn. Uh, during the main phase quick effect, change the attack of all face up monsters on the field to zero, except for level 8 or higher fusion monsters until the end of this turn. Uh, if this face up card you control leaves the field by an opponent's card effect, you can add to your hand or special summon one Despia or four Navalbaz from your deck. Okay, if only he used four Navalbaz as material. If only. Why does he need to use four Navalbaz? To poly. <laughs> I mean, it's generic on the other side of it, so you can still use Super Poly with one of your Despias. Yeah, but Fall of Albers is just a Super Poly. Yeah, I know, but then, like, in theory, if we go back to the battle phase, yes, um, this dies by battle. Um, it's not only card by, effect. Oh, it's an opponent's card yeah. effect. Okay. Convince well, them to pop. at any point, yeah, at any point, like, if it's... That's the thing. They're pretty much going to have to pop it outside the battle phase anyway, because if they try to attack it inside the battle phase... Drop to zero, you're dead. Yeah. You can Alvaz your opponent's Despia monsters. <gasps> <laughs> Alvaz tech. Yep, just running Alvaz's. In the mirror match, just Alvaz your opponent's shit. Oh, the... Oh. the Why have you brought matches. this up? The mirror matches of this will be so painful. This will be just like yep. Sky Strike and yeah. all over again. Um, they do have another fusion as well. Uh, Despian uh, Prasinium. And this one's artwork is a parallel to uh, Dogmatic and Nexus. Well, no, one plays no one plays that one. That one's like a common like three K attack. Its effect is really good, but it's super hard. So to when the set first came out, someone was playing it, and I can't remember who it was. <laughs> What's it look like? It's art. Um, similar to this. So it, the original one has like a like a little angel thing in the middle and like two dragon heads coming over uh, the top of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, I think I remember, yeah. Yeah. It's pretty cool looking. Like, I do like the look of it. Um, this one is, yeah, similar to it, but dark. Uh, so this one is light... Oh, yeah, forgot to mention as well. These two extra deck monsters are light fiends rather than dark fairies. Um, so we've got a level 11, 32-32. Despia monster plus one light monster and one dark monster. Um... Only use first and second effects once per turn. During the main phase, uh, target one fusion, synchro, XZ, or link monster in your opponent's graveyard. Either banish it or special summon it to your field. Hmm. And then when this card destroys an opponent's monster by battle, inflict damage to your opponent equal to the destroyed monster's attack or defense, whichever is higher. So that one's kind of like the aggressor of the deck, whereas the other one seems to be more of a stall. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and then we have the field spell, which is Despia, the Stigmata Theater. Uh, during... Your main phase, you can fusion summon one level 8 or higher fusion monster from your extra deck using monster from your hand or field as fusion materials. If a face up non fusion fairy monster you control is destroyed by battle or leaves a field by an opponent's card effect, target one level 8 or higher fusion monster in your graveyard special summon it. Okay. If only it recurred back to the hand. Wait. I was hoping the second effect was going to be like target one fusion monster you control, return this card to the hand or something. If like what's that. destroyed? Uh, if one of your. Non non fusion fairy oh, okay, monsters. Right. So basically, the Despias. Yeah. Yeah. This is destroyed by battle or card effects. Right? Yeah, but uh, by either leaves the field that's, that's or destroyed good. by battle. Oh, so you just link it off? No, no, no. By opponent's card. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that'd be broken. Um, <laughs> link it off. Special summon fusion. <laughs> and then we have Sigmata Curtain Rays. Uh, rise. Uh, quick play. Discard one card, then add to your hand or special summon defense position one Despia monster from your deck. You cannot special summon monsters from the extra deck for the rest of this turn after this card resolves the extra fusion monsters. Is that a track card? That's a quick play spell. That's pretty good. That's really good. Yeah. Um, if a fusion monster control would be destroyed by card effect, banish this card from your graveyard instead. Hmm. Yeah, that's a good card. That's a very good card. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so that covers off most of um, the actual... Thespian, uh, Despian, sorry, um, archetype. There were a couple other um, Fallen of Albaz cards, but what do we think of that archetype? It seems pretty decent. Yeah, like it is clearly the second best out of the like current law set that we're getting. Yeah, and in theory, you could very well do a Dogma splash into this as well. Yeah, like do could. your Despian plays and then just do Nadir, like everyone has been doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I think it's really solid. Well, I think we it's still have a lot three Nadir by the time their set comes out. <laughs> Who knows? Um, the other, well, one of the other more exciting things that we got was um, some further pendulum support. Um, somewhat generic, but more so geared towards the Doremi chord cards. Mm -hmm. Those pendulum cards broke. 
Wait, which one are you? The one that places just any pen one wants to put on paper. I don't think it's that broken. Don't get me wrong, it's good. (laughs) Yeah, sure. Neither could the first effect of Electrum. Exactly. But that's not the ban list. That's not that's not the effect. Isn't it like a minus one? Well, it got you. It's the reason Astrograph yeah, was banned. But the reason, so yeah, so for anyone that didn't see that card, all it is is, um, I think it's called Pendulum Treasure. Add one card from your deck to your extra deck, or Pendulum card from your deck to your extra deck. Oh. Once per turn. Face up. Searchable. Yep. I did because oh. it has the word Pendulum in it. You can search it, um, and obviously that's the first part of Electromite's effect. So there are some parallels. We ain't getting Electromite back. With further, <laughs> with further parallels, we have. The Link Monster for Doremi. Yeah. So, uh, Grand Doremi called um, Mysteria. Continue. Yeah. <laughs> Close enough. Uh, Link 2 Light Fairy Attack 19. So, same stats as Electromite, including the Link arrows pointing left and right. Is it generic? Oh, sorry. It? Left, down, and right Two down. Two Pendulum Monsters, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, same material. Uh, so, you can only use this card's named effect once per turn, or first and second effect once per turn. During the main phase, you can add one Pendulum Monster from your hand to your extra deck face up. And if you do, add one face up Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand with yeah. an odd Pendulum scale if the first monster had an even or an even if the first yeah. monster that had an odd. Sucks. Yeah, this is the one I was thinking of, but it's like a, it's not really that good. Like, it's like a neg. Like, huh? I guess you go neg one because you're going from two monsters to one to do it. Yes and no. So the reason, if you think about it as generic pendulum support, yes, it's a neg because yeah. you need to add very specific monsters in very specific places. However, in Dora Me, it's very important what has even and odd scales because they do different things depending yeah. on where they are and what they are. Because yeah. if if they have their, I come, I think it's a spell. If you have like even Dora Me, odd Dora Me, and one face up in the extra deck, it just blows up the board. Oh, okay, yeah. It's done. Yeah. It's so broken. Um, second effect is when your pendulum monster... No. When you pendulum summon a Doremi monster or monsters, target one of them, add one Doremi pendulum monster with a level equal to that targeted monster's pendulum scale from deck to hand. Okay. That's all right. So they, they it, all, like, switch. So, like, the one is... The link... A level one is, like, an eight scale. Okay, the yeah. level two is a seven. Yeah. The level three is a six. So yeah, kind they're of... all over the place. It's, it's a really bizarre archetype, but it has some very good cards coming out. And I feel like this is Konami's way of going, what do you mean we don't like Pendulum? We just like these Pendulum. <laughs> these is... ones that you have to pay for. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely the reason why Electromite stayed banned is because Triff was like, Doromi ate Pendulum negates because Electromite's coming back. And then they're like, nope, we're not going to come have, back. You have this one yeah, instead. You can buy this link. Yeah, pretty much. This link that's not very good. It's not very good, but it's good for the deck that it's designed yeah. to be in. I'm trying to think of applications, and like, there's not many. Um, should point out with this as well, in that deck, in theory, if you have the right scales in place, this can't be responded to. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's pretty good. Still. Because the scales prevent you negating the summons of Doromi, and then I think there's other ones that prevent you from activating cards in response to the activation of Doromi effects. The, the only thing I don't, the main thing I don't like about that is I feel like its effects are only going to come up on, like, turn three. Sure. Because you're going to burn two to summon it, but it points down twice, so it doesn't matter about you recurring the cards back and switching to what you can summon in places. But they do have cards that can mitigate that a little bit as well. Like, I think there is a searchable Doremi card that special summons a card from Scout. Okay. Yeah. And plus you then have generic Pendulum support. Like, you've still got Dark Worm, you've still got Abyss Actor. Yeah. yeah. Like, there's ways to play around it. Yep. Yeah, because yeah, that's generic. Though. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Um, so, uh, one of the other cards that I wanted to talk about, um, speaking of Pendulum was a new floodgate that we got. Um, oh, that's pretty that, much yeah. Yeah. I don't know why it's a pendulum. It's kind of broken that it is a pendulum. The um, scale effect is like oh, the yeah. scale effect is dumb. Activate macrocosmos. <laughs> yeah. So with that in mind, it's called antagonistic intelligence me Sai ya. Uh level eight light cyberse pendulum effect monster. Attack two K de- oh, sorry, two five. Defense three K. Pendulum scale zero. Is yeah, this the that's first so Pendulum, not Cyberse Monster. As far as I'm aware. Yeah, it is. Okay. Yeah, which is interesting that they've made it so Absurd. incredibly broken. Mm. Yeah. Um, Unsearchable. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, yeah, it's searchable by... Um, Half the deck. <laughs> well, 
Yes and no. Yeah. Um, you can't. Can you? Cyburst can search it. Yeah, that's what I mean. It's an eight, so you can't start uh, sunnet mining into it. You can. can't sunnet mining oh, into right. it, Sorry, but that's what I was you thinking. can mudskip it to find it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And like, like there are ways to search does it. Does Lady Debug? Does that have a level? Ah, uh, no, she's level four or lower. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, I was thinking. They did think a yeah, little bit okay, ahead of time. Okay. Cool. <laughs> This um, isn't a Pepe thing again where mm. they're like, search fucking Yeah, anything. no, if it, if it had scales on it, they'd definitely think about it in advance. Although it is questionable with this one. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, so Pendulum effect is any non-monster card sent to the graveyard is banished instead. Yeah. Floodgate. Yeah. Just play it, no cost. Goodbye. Really good. Eldritch. Pretty much. <laughs> You've got um, that card in Pendulum, and in Pendulum, you don't really care. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Like, your spells and traps you don't give a shit about. Um, and then monster effect you can only use its first effect once per turn reveal this card in your hand add one pendulum monster from your hand or one card from your pendulum zone to the extra deck face up and if you do special summon this card um, if another monster or monster is special normal special summon while this card is in the monster zone uh, activate this effect send that monster or monsters to the graveyard during the end phase of this turn so wait, it reveals one from hand to special summon so, by yeah, putting I'll it So, yeah, I'll read that extra. again. Yeah. So, reveal this card in your hand. Add one other Pendulum Monster from your hand or one card from your Pendulum Zone to the extra deck face-up mm -hmm. and if you do special summon this card. Okay, so it's... It's alright. On, on that second effects note, it's, it's something that you don't really see Konami do where it's just like, this card will be, be sent in end phase. It's like a ticking clock. Yeah, they kind of moved away from those after... Yeah. Uh, what's that set called? Um, Legend of Blue Eyes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there was like those stupid cards that's like, flip summon. Um, select one yeah. monster your opponent controls, send it to the graveyard during the fifth end phase. <laughs> it's like, oh no! Ticking clock. <laughs> to be fair, back then, that was, something like that was decent, where it like, target summon target, skull. yeah. Oh shit! Oh no! I have five turns to win. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, the first effect of it's broken. Second effect, mm. eh. and yeah. that's fine because if it had two effect. broken effects, <laughs> it would be done. Yeah. Does, it, so, does it target that second effect, or does it just respond to? The uh, no, activate this effect. Send that monster or monsters. So it's Tiger having. Dragoon. <laughs> well, Don't target the select dragoon. Select <laughs> dragoon. <laughs> Um, and then, obviously, one of the most talked about bits of support that we got in this set was the new Instant Fusion. Um, instant Fusion. Retort Fusion. Mm. What'd you just call me? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Highbrow humour. <laughs> oh, yes. I raised my monocle to you, sir. Mm. <laughs> Tell you who. <laughs> Um, so, um, pay 1,000 life points, special summon one six or lower non-effect fusion monster from your extra deck. This is treated as a fusion summon, but it cannot attack. Also destroy it during the end phase. You can only activate this card once per turn. Uh, and to go along with this, we have a new non-effect fusion monster, which is, uh, where's its name? Doesn't matter. It says Tuna. <laughs> Alvain, the final nothingness. Dark fairy fusion, two normal monsters are its actual material, but let's be real, no one's actually summoning this. <laughs> Um, you used the fusion. So, level two tuna. Level two tuna. Yeah, that's right. So this opens up a whole can of worms. This is the best card of twenty twenty one. Yes, mm. this is actually, but they're not saying that it is, which is a problem. But I'm not talking about the fusion. Hmm? The monster is the best card of twenty twenty one. Yeah. Someone, really? Yeah. That's what okay. I'm good. About. Good. Good. We're on the same page. Mm. It's the best card of twenty twenty one. No. It's a it's an instant fusion target that says tuna best card of the year. No, I mean in fairness, Theseus is also that. Yeah. Yeah, and that was but the no best card of 2017. <laughs> <laughs> Doubt. Oh god. Um, no, what what else came out in Raging Tempest that was memorable? No, no. I wasn't playing. I can't exactly, Seb can't remember anything. Only what, only what, Sea Monster of Theseus was the only good card in that What's set. What's the archetype that came out? You, you guys are gonna have to look this up. This is this is shockingly bad. Wait, wait, hold on. Jake's not memeing. Jake's looking this up. <laughs> I don't remember this. If it didn't have if it didn't have oh, fusions so in it, yeah. I don't yeah. care. Oh, oh, oh Wind Witches. Oh yeah. This that's fucking <laughs> insane. That's fucking. Konami be like, this is the best card of 2017, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Ignore the rest of this set. <laughs> 
I thought you were being serious. <laughs> also, also oh. ignore the fact that Alistair comes out in two weeks. <laughs> yeah, that's the set I cared about. Also, this set can go to hell because fucking Cyber Angel and Natasha was in it and that bitch sucks. <laughs> Imagine that being the card that's good in 2021. Yeah. It's not even good, it's just annoying. Stop stealing my shit, Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, that covers off most of the cards. Like, there's a couple other ones. Like, there's a sort of half um, Phantasme that came out that I don't think it's that good. People are hyping it up, I don't think it's that good. Um, but yeah, like a whole heap of really good stuff coming out in Dawn of Majesty, it seems. So, uh, yeah, that one's going to be one to look out for. Chronomaly. Yeah, look, <laughs> I don't rate the Chronomaly stuff. A, it's Chronomaly. B, the support's good for the deck, but yeah. not good. I'll read it when someone plays it against me. Yeah, well, I don't think we're going in there anytime soon, are we? Yeah, no. I got two of the common cards today from the commons bin. <laughs> I, uh, I used to read it. All, like, every card that came out in every set, I'd be like, I'm reading every single card, and then I just stopped caring. Yeah, there's so much jank in sets. So there. there is a when, lot. When I'd read every card, I'd be like, you know, this like shitty archetype could have some application, I'll buy it. And I ended up with fucking Kemi Critters. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that leads us into, um, quite nicely actually, the segue <coughs> of um, some questions that we've been asked in our Discord. Exactly. Um, so, um, if you do have any questions that you want to ask us, please jump into our Discord. Link will be in the description below. We'd love to hear any questions you have, any thoughts, any comments, um, anything like that. So, feel free to jump in. So, uh, the question that we got earlier this week or last week from uh, Ryguy. Oh, so, before we quickly get into this. How do you? <laughs> um, Two hours ago, Konami confirmed some imports from Lightning Overdrive. Ooh, for us. okay. The the Sun Avalon cards. We're getting the Sun oh Avalon the imports. extra ones. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. That's all right. Um, yeah, that makes the deck definitely playable. Um, so yeah, Lachlan will be looking very forward to that. Me, eh. <laughs> um, so yeah, question from Rye Guy uh, asks, uh, what is the best deck that you've had the least success with? And vice versa, the worst deck you've had the most success with. I thought about this and then couldn't remember a good deck that I haven't had success with. Um, Wait, weird flex. Good okay. deck. Look, a good, good deck, deck that you've done badly with, yeah. and a bad deck you've done well with. I think the good deck that I did bad with was like Trickstar Sky Striker. Yeah. Like at that Nats, I like paired round one against the guy that I had FTK'd four months earlier, and he looked at me and was like you're the FTK player that beat me at that regional. I was like, yep. And then I proceeded to brick super fucking hard. <laughs> I, was yep. like, so he I got was, his, wasn't even mad. I was you like, got your cup up and for playing this. an FTK. He got his revenge. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Seb? Um, so I'm going to preface this with I haven't been to many events. Oh, this is fair. And the ones I have been to are like three YCSs and one regional. Um, but the... Best deck I've done worse with was probably Orcus Sky Striker, which I went like. I just kept losing in time, and I don't know how I lost in time with that deck. I think I was just used to the forty-five minute locals, and I wasn't even like checking the clock. Mm. But yeah, I lost in time, and the best, the worst deck I've done best with. Mm, I guess that would be. Uh, Cubix <laughs> 24th in a yeah. winner mat <laughs> yeah okay top 32 that's um second half of that I will answer the second half of that question later cool. okay um Bragg do you care to comment on this yeah I was gonna say Sky Strike Orcus was probably the worst I've gone mm. yep with a meta deck yeah and then vice versa what's the best you've ever done with something that's kind of trash um my Dragon Rule Blue Eyes like at the first YCS um, in Australia, I got to, I made like day two and like, I went like pretty damn well with it. And like in retrospect, that was fucking trash. <laughs> right. But was that when Dragon Rulers were prevalent? Oh uh, yeah. Like... It was the very end of it. So Heretic, okay. um, Heretic Dragon Rules was the speculated best deck going into that with the Dragoonity stuff. But then I'm trying to, oh, the Karakuri um, deck took that. Oh uh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Which, okay. yeah, that format was weird. So it's not even like you took them after their prime. Like, they were very much within their prime. But you just took a weird variant. Yeah. 
And then the Pendulum deck in Spiral format was probably another. Yeah, look, that I would say in that format of like T Zero Spiral, Pendulum was definitely the next best deck. Yeah. It's just Spiral was heads and tails above the rest. Yeah, that it just and made everything feet. else look so bad. And the ground under their feet. It's <laughs> okay. than the rest. Okay. To preface Fucking this, I love that format. To preface this, he was playing Spiral. Bragg and I were playing Pendulum. I want I every local spot for four months. <laughs> when someone posted that, it, like, when it was a Lewis posted it in our group chat, I'm just like, oh. It was me that posted it. It was you? Yep. Oh, sorry. Like, um, that was so good. It was just such a. Format. I killed narrow locals with that format. Like, it's not hard. You're versing what? No, no. Like, that was when the good players were still there. Oh, true, true, true. And I went every now. locals for four months, and they were like, we're going to go play Dragon Ball. <laughs> oh, so you destroyed them. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, so, yeah, did you think of the bad deck you've done well with? Uh, yeah, it was that wombo combo piece of shit that I took to YCS 2019. Did you pull a Logan that? in 2019? Yeah. I okay. made day two playing, like... It was effectively just throw cards on the table and try and end on like Nat Beast, Barky on Arcloid Christie and a Gamma Seal with negations. That is straight out of Logan deck. Yeah. That is very much a Logan deck. <laughs> it was you a... should be ashamed. That I was that was the yes, like um Altergeist won. So I won all my Altergeist matchups by just ending on fucking Barky on. <laughs> and they'd be like, I lose. And it's like yeah, you did. Yeah, pretty much. Although couldn't you couldn't they have just summoned Melaseek and like gotten rid of it? I think it was like the Christie also fucked them, and also then having the Gamma Seal. Oh, because it would have been live with negates as yeah. well. Oh, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. All right. Um. Yeah. So, for me, the best deck that I've ever done worst with is probably I would probably say Sky Striker Orpus as well. Like, I didn't do that badly at it. I definitely made day two, and I think I was, like, maybe X3 by the end of the day. So, like, not bad at all, but, like, there was definitely a lot of money and time invested in that deck. And to not have done better than that when, like, someone from our locals with fucking a salad structure with some Lance ears in the main did better. <laughs> that that was definitely a kick in the teeth. Um, Keep in mind, Gazelle's a one at this point, and so circle. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas Orcus had not had any hits as far as I can recall. No. no. Oh, they'd lost, like, Rusty. But yeah. Look, that was more win more card at that point. Pivoted. <laughs> like, cause you were never getting to Rusty once Nibiru came out anyway. Like, they, the... Had they lost Mermaid at that point? Yep. Yeah, yeah 100%. Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, I'd still be playing a Pendulum Orcus. That was... <laughs> those were the fucking days. Uh, <laughs> we had this discussion um, earlier where it's... We did. That I, meme of two cards? Orcus combo. Yeah, 100%. And that deck was, like, prevalent for it because I'd, like, summon my three negates and it'd be like, oh, I have these two random ass Link monsters on the board. Become a nightmare! Mm. <laughs> um, and then the worst deck that I did best with, and I've spoken about this many a time because I'm very proud was uh, coming second in a 32-man mega regional with Metaphys uh -huh. <laughs> in Trickstar Sky Striker format. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Deck profile should be on the channel still, right? We never did a profile for it. Oh, my God. <laughs> now, we How, did, how now. did we milk that? How didn't we milk that? So Actually, happy. did we do a profile for it? I feel like I think we, we were... Is that, is that we you sitting in the chair? No, that, that was the Melbourne one. That was when he took Mech Knight to the GG thing. Yeah, and that one was posted like three weeks after the Banleys came out, so then everyone was like, this deck is wrong. <laughs> 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 um, but yeah, so the Metaphys is definitely one of my like crowning moments in this game. To have like beaten all but one player with that deck was like incredible. So and like the only reason that the dude won was because he'd beaten everybody else. So and this is fun. And he was the only one playing... Um, I think it was playing Spiral at that point. And Spiral weren't good at that point either. Mm. Was that like pre? Pre-Helix? No, it was definitely post-Helix. It was Trickstar format. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it was. No. So, so yeah, Helix it was, was hit. It was after Spiral was hit. Yeah, it was after Spiral hit. After, after Spiral was hit before Souls revived yeah. the deck. Yeah, yeah, long before Souls. Um, yeah, so that covers off that question. Uh, the next one we have is... Um, what drew us to our favourite decks? Now, I don't know if he means currently, 
or whether he means in general. I think in, probably so in general. let's talk about general. Yeah. Um, so we asked said first. Let's start with Brag this time. What drew you to your favorite deck, and what is your favorite deck? It's a favorite deck of all time. It's got to be scraps, isn't it? Yeah. Um. Even I was going to say scraps, and I didn't think that. I one. yeah, <laughs> I thought they looked heaps good in the pre-release, and then I just stuck with them. Um, yeah, I thought they looked like heaps good, and then they played really well, and like and just that. Scrap Dragon being the boss monster, like where it's it, kind of easy to get it out, but it's not too OP. And then, but you got the recycling element is like that goes into like Graffer as well, where uh, reoccurring monsters is something I kind of jam with, which is like why I liked Pendulums as well. I like Orcus. Yeah, it's Dragon Rulers. Uh, and then uh, most re- I mean the deck I play at the moment is Prank Kids and. I don't know, like, them tapping into, like, the elements, like, like the Dragon Rulers, having s- similar enough effects while also looking like a complete joke. I rate that. <laughs> yeah, sure. That, the guy that I played against on EU Pro the other day that was playing... Oh, yeah, Prank Kid Cypher. Prank Kid Cypher. His whole Prank Kid's engine was just normal summon a Prank Kid monster to get him to the Cockadoodle Doo plus another Prank Kid on yep. board, searching pranks to then link the two into Lando, shuffle the three back into the deck, and draw one card. That was the entire purpose of the engine. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, cool. okay. <laughs> there are so many easier well, ways to get to Lando yeah. as well. My God, that is so bad. Yeah. But it draws him one card. <laughs> yeah, there's other engines that do that. Draw Gamma. I, I attack oh, over the Lando. He scooped. <laughs> play it in the Cyphrome deck. What? What? Lambda. It's it's almost not like the discussion that we've just had. Seb's not huh? just the deck was the deck was Oh, it was. Yeah. Oh, okay. Was I was going to say that's the only deck I can think of that would use that <laughs> combo. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Use lambda in yeah. cyframes. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, okay, so it uses a normal, so it invokes out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and doesn't like. Oh my god! Doesn't like the. Um, Cyburst package, the D votee and D doesn't yeah. that get you a draw? As yeah, well? Cyburst gadget is a one card lambda. Does it get you a draw? It gets you a draw, but then you have to also put one back. No, no. Put, it's put just back the driver. Back the <laughs> I mean, in fairness, if you're playing a pure cypher deck, yeah. you're gonna draw them. Yeah. Actually, you're probably not. That's probably the way it works. You play three, yeah. you never see it. You desires don't banish any. Oh, banish two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> banish two, draw the other one. <laughs> Sick. Um, Okay, so that comes off brag. What about you, Ben? Uh, Your favourite deck of all time and why? It's Paleo. Because when I came back into the game, uh, the first locals I won was with Paleo. Because I pulled one totally awesome and it can recycle itself. Yeah? And I would just recycle that one toad that I had all day long. Oh, that is so annoying. Every time I went to grave, <laughs> toad go back. I forgot about frogs. Mm. You did forget about frogs. Ooh. That's because they're not your favourite deck. True. They would have stuck to your mind better if they were your favourite. Yeah, I guess. And Seb? You're um, an answer, didn't you? No. Did you? I can't remember. No, I haven't. No. It's between Cubix and Draco, but I'll say Cubix is the funniest story, I guess. I don't know. But, um, so I used to watch, well, I sort of still do watch a certain group of Yugi tubers, and when we're going into. MR4, they released a top 10 decks that you don't need to use the extra deck because it's MR. Is MR4 the one that restricted the yeah. yeah, So I was like, okay, so I'll look through this, and one of them was Cubix. I'm like, all right, I'll play Cubix then because I don't have to learn about Seb- MR4. <laughs> <laughs> we should have said that to yeah. the narrow people. Wow. Sebi, why do you watch Team APS? Yeah, you yeah. got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, and then mine, it, again, this probably won't surprise anybody, but my favourite of all time is Invoked. Um, the reason for this uh, is because when they first came out, I was reading up on like where the lore of them all came from, and the extra deck for the most part is all related to Final Fantasy. Like there's parallels between a lot of the Final Fantasy and the extra deck. So Macabre is meant to be related to Odin from Final Fantasy VIII. Um, Purgatrio is related to the Magus sisters from Final Fantasy X. Uh, Kokaitis is Leviathan, who's played through like heaps of them. 
Elysiums related to Eden from Final Fantasy VIII. Like heaps of them are related to like the um, like they've got seven different names across that fucking series. Like there's Guardian Forces, Eidolons, Aeons, heaps of shit. But basically that. So that's what drew me to them in the beginning. And then when the Wind Witch variant came out, I was like, oh fuck yeah, I get to like play Crystal Wing and flip shit down. Yeah. And that was fun. And when I first got it, like I bought a box the day of release and pulled like one invocation and a couple of the rest of the stuff. And then I was playing Mermal at the time and for whatever reason, like there was a big clusterfuck at the end of the winner box tawny and like heaps of people were drawn. And I think like technically my points was lower, but my resistance was better because of all the draws. So I ended up winning the box. <laughs> so I pretty much got the entire archetype that one day. I was like this, this is awesome. If you didn't tell that full story, I was going to make a funny joke where I was going to tell the viewers to pause the podcast, go and research all those things that you said to make sure they were true, and then tell them to unpause the podcast and then be like, wrong, it's just because Jake had pulled one box, got half the deck, then won another box and got the second half of the deck. <laughs> so yeah, look, I was quite lucky with that. I think even one of the boxes had two invocation in it, which at that time was ridiculous because yeah. it was like one a box if you're lucky. That was a... Uh... Another deck that I played with just one invocation because it was all I had. Yeah, this was pre Ash as well, so that was fine. You yeah. could definitely get away with just playing one invocation. The, the <laughs> issue was Didi Crow. Your opponent Didi Crow with oh, the one yeah. invocation? <laughs> you were fucked. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Um, I think we've got at least one more question that we can do. Actually, there's several other questions we can do. It just depends on how far we want to go. Um, what's another legacy format that you would like to see played like Goats is today? Slash, what is your favourite format of all time? Well, it's Goats. Everyone should just play Goats. I get that inspiration every so often, and then I play Goats for like a week, and then I get sick of Goat. Yeah. I, I really should just put back together my old Goat deck. I I've it... also had this thought, and then I look at it, and I put it back in the box. <laughs> my, old, my old Goat deck is great. Protect the Wave Motion Cannon is the best deck in the format. <laughs> Oh, you should be shot. Look, there was only seven ways to out it, and there was like nine ways to stop those outs. Yeah. So you just had a set giant soldier of stone, set five pass. You should be shot. <laughs> you just... That is not the way to play Goat. It's exactly <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, and as far as I want to hear, the only way to play Goat is everyone plays control... Thousand Eyes, no. Chaos Variant. That's all I want to know about. That's all I care about. I don't care about Empty Jar. I don't care about Defense OTK. I don't Especially care about jar. anything else. I am... Actually, Wave Motion Count was really under the radar back then as well. Yep. I am the leading store champion in Go to date with <laughs> Anti-Meta Warriors. <laughs> but, God, the Warrior Toolbox is so good. Though. Yeah, it is pretty good. Um, But my answer would be... Because I'm currently building two troop dupe decks yep. that I'm going to bring to locals so we can do mirrors. Explain what the point of that is. You normal summon troop, you activate dupe, <laughs> your opponent scoop. Your opponent activates mirror force. And then you keep playing. <laughs> I still don't understand. It's, it's just like faster goat with like OTKs. Right. Because the dupes foolish a bunch of shit. So That's like, like 7-5 uh, dupe... damage on board. A dupe, and then they can all... It's not hard once per turn, so they all gain attack. So it's like, yeah. Right, slam. okay. But yeah, you play cards like all the goat cards, the one ofs that like pop cards and whatever. Okay. Yeah, so I haven't even played the format. I just thought it looked fun. And I like card troopers, so I was like, oh, yeah, okay. This I'll is such it. a you thing as well. I remember <laughs> back in 2017, specifically this was Andrew who said it, where like at the end of Zoo format... I had, like, picked up my Zoo deck, and then... Because I, I picked up Zoo and then, like, got really sick, so I never got to actually play my Zoo deck. <laughs> and then I was like, it's okay. In future, people will be like, man, I really want to replay Zoo format. And Andrew Specific was like, no one will ever say that. <laughs> what? Well, I mean, I was going to say yeah. Zoo. Yeah. Like, yeah. either the first version or the, se or the, sec uh, the first format or the second format. First format Zoo, No. <laughs> Well, first format, well, well, the stuff that we learned from second format, we probably could have applied to first. Yep. Everyone got so locked in a fusion substitute that we missed so many other things. So, like that. Well, without links, could those plays have really been opened up? Yeah. 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 To be fair, in fusion sub, we didn't have Chapter 9. 
Yeah. There was no Chuck and I, no... Um, no Hammer Kong. Hammer God, the way that, that... Yeah, the way that format evolved. You probably could just go... Oh, you could nearly run a league with it, but... As a format, just choosing one. I mean, you could sit down with two different zoo decks and have some fun, I reckon, but... Yeah. 100%. Mm-hmm. I could have some fun. I'm shaking my head. I was quite entertained going back and watching old, like, bloody Nats and WCQs of just Zoo Format, Zoo Draco. Ah, yes, Dryden Set Fire Pass. <laughs> How fun. It was pretty cool. Fun for the whole family. And then the I op- fucking hated that for them. Masterpiece, <laughs> and the opponent's like... <laughs> The only way I can out you is by soul striking your masterpiece, and I've just banished all my solons off my desires. Yeah. I'm going to now wait half an hour before I scoop. <laughs> <laughs> yes, this sounds riveting. Um, so, uh, I can't even think what my favourite format would be. Troop Dupe Scoop. I remember I ran Monarch in that format. Mm. I'm like, I'm. No, the Destiny Hero. Destiny Hero had, Monarch. Yeah, yeah. Or was it just malicious uh, Destiny broad? Yeah, yeah, malicious and um, disc commander that you'd bring back with um, call or premature burial. Hmm. Uh, okay. Um, Top card deck. And then got a, is that the like before it got eroded? Did it get eroded? Disc commander. Or it just got banned. It just got banned. I think. I remember back in the is day. Is it back? Still... Hold on. I think it's back. But disc commander is back. It hasn't has eroded. It's, shit. it's yeah. really bad. Yeah. Oh my god. Back in the day, I used to have like my. When I used to carry around like a bunch of decks, I used mm-hmm. to always keep like five past format decks on me, hmm. oh, just in case anyone had the spark. Yeah, <laughs> just di- and just single, so like you, yeah, the other person had to bring one. Had. <laughs> it was like yeah, Kel- none of them matched <laughs> formats. It was yeah. just like five different <laughs> formats. because <laughs> it, it was Teledad, Spellbook, Dragon Rulers. Then I think it was like Full Power Pepe, and then something else. I don't know. The Yu-Gi-Oh database doesn't have the correct um, set listing for um, Disc Commander. Oh, yeah. yeah. Kill. Yeah. <laughs> um, I honestly can't think of a like a, a highlight format. Um, like, no. Sky so Strike or Orcus was obviously very fun. Um, I quite <laughs> enjoyed that format because obviously I was playing one of the better decks. I enjoyed Locals that format. Oh, actually, no. It was the format before that. The pre-ban Thunder Dragon. That was probably one of my favourites. Because Brilliant Fusion Thunder Dragon was... <laughs> <laughs> you were playing Prank Kids. You didn't give a fuck about Thunder Dragon. Not, uh, by pre... I mean, Prank Kids only came out in December. They also didn't have Rock Boy until the thing. Still December, right? Yeah, because we got in the, yeah. um, the, the special edition. Thank God for that. Well... Didn't matter to Dinka Boy. Thunder Dragon bad. <laughs> I, um, love, I love the way the Dinka boy says prank kids Mr. Prankids Prankids I play three of this Prankid Prankid oh my god love people I uh, love the way Dinka there's boy says way too many people on YouTube that pronounce cards wrong <laughs> if I hear another person say A-lister I'm gonna punch my phone Alice, A-lister the invoker a lister, the invoker. Um, no, what's... The invoker. Anyway, I can't talk about it. It makes me angry. This mm-hmm. will just end up being like locked and talking about window. Um, Invoked Makana. Stop. <laughs> um, the last question I think for today um, is what two people from your locals would you team up for a 3v3 and why? And don't feel obligated to say anyone that's in the room if you don't want to. Okay. You're not going to hurt anybody's feelings. Well, oh, let's me, say, I was like, what the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> should we say excluding people in the room or just we don't No, care? no, it doesn't have to be someone oh, in the room okay. if you don't want it to be. It has, yeah, it has to be someone from my list. Yeah, it did specify. 3v3? Is that separate? So, like, we Yeah, all yeah, so the American a... format where, like, yeah. basically you're dueling on your own, yeah. but then your team to total is what you. gets you through. Mm. So, if you win but your two teammates lose, you yeah. all lose. Yeah, yeah. And so it's best of one, isn't it? Or is it best of three? I think it's still best of three. Oh, okay. I feel like in this situation, I definitely wouldn't take Josh because you'd get so fucking frustrated about yeah. like, criticizing his plays. Okay, the table. so here's the thing. I would, and there is one reason why. Lucksack. <laughs> no. Be- well, actually, it is because of that. It's because I want him lucksacking on our side of the table, <laughs> not on that side of the table. Um, I feel like 
in that situation, he wouldn't lock sack because it's, he's giving someone else a benefit. Yeah, this is true. Like in tag torn, he's always does shit. <laughs> true, actually, that's a good point. So in that case, hmm. for me, the choice is very clear, and it's Andrew and Lewis. See, I would say Andrew and Lewis, but it kind of depends on the format. No, I'd take them no matter what the format. I'd just tell Andrew to play something other than Ritual. <laughs> in that case, I sit in the middle table and they tell me everything I'm going to do is probably not the correct choice and then I'll be like, okay. And then we'll summon Chamber Dragon Mate Pass. <laughs> <laughs> they told you not to bring that deck. <laughs> I think I'd do me, Tom, and Loza. And we just meme on people. <laughs> Well, you'd have plenty of time to watch Loza play while you and Tom play fucking Mystic Mind and watch your opponents fucking want to kill themselves. You and Tom just look at each other and you go, you want to play Digimon? Yeah, <laughs> we just start We've going. already lost. We, we sit Loza in the middle and use him as a table in between games. Like, he's playing a worthless two out of three. Yeah, yeah Logan and Spence. Spence? Who's Spence? These are people from back in the day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you say Logan? Yeah. Don't. Why not? Why not? He does love doing a random appearance. Like, <laughs> fucking Us 10 year vets bets. will uh, show you young kids how it's done. Oh, no. With exo- Stall Exodia. Yeah, he's alive. <laughs> he's very much alive. He's actually in the store today. Was yeah. He? yeah, he's looking at that Batman Talisman game. I got that in a word as today. It weighs a fuck ton. Yeah. I mean, anyway. Um, yeah, so that'll do it for tonight. Uh, there is a heap of other news and stuff that we'll discuss probably next week. Someone had been said. Oh, this is fine. Seb's a racist. Um. <laughs> Jacob Floyd, stop bidding on Gemini imps. You cunt. <laughs> what rarity? Secret. Secret. Um, so as I mentioned before, we have got our Discord set up. Feel free to jump in there, say hi, ask us questions. Uh, good group of guys in there as well um and as i mentioned last time there may be a woman in there i'm not sure yet um <laughs> find her <laughs> now it right, sounds like something said would say <laughs> yep he's also a sexist um, <laughs> um so link will be in the description below if you have anything else you'd like to send to us feel free to email us at team c4g at gmail.com uh, otherwise, so uh, is that the letter or the numbers? That is the hieroglyphs. Well, the ancient Egyptian here. Okay. It's the only way to play <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> exactly. You must learn the language of Pharaoh to play. Normal summon Alice. <laughs> 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 I have to read its effect in Egyptian. Go. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thanks, guys. Good night. Bye.